Hey there, it's Laura here from makingcardsistun.com and today I'm going to be sharing a review on the Tonic Guillotine 12 inch paper cutter. So a while ago I asked you for paper cutter recommendations since I was using my Fiskars Surecut machine but I wasn't just no longer happy with it because I was always left with fuzzy edges and I was just so tired of that um, I had to replace the blade over and over and over again I probably had to replace my blade every month or so not sure what caused it since I do have this trimmer for three years I think so it's been a while since I purchased it but I thought that it would be fine just by replacing the blades but it wasn't so I just kept uh, spending money on these blades so I decided it was time for a new paper trimmer so a lot of you recommended the tonic guillotine machine and at first I was kind of scared because a guillotine machine is usually quite large since it has this big arm and I thought it would also be like really really heavy but in fact it isn't so um, I did a lot of research and then I contacted Tonic Studios and asked them if they were willing to send me a Tonic uh, Yeetin 12 inch machine in exchange for a review so I received the machine um, but just keep in mind that my opinion is 100% honest and I would never ever share um, things or products that I don't truly like or love because I only share products that I truly enjoy and really love using. So we're just going to be sharing my thoughts on this trimmer today with you so I hope you enjoyed this video so let's get started with this review. Okay so it's a little bit hard to show you the full trimmer since my camera setup isn't really made for this um, particular trimmer. So um, I will be showing you a larger picture of this trimmer on my blog so you can see it in, in full size. So this is the Tonic Guillotine 12 inch trimmer. So it measures 12 by 12 if you attach the detachable measuring bar. So you can just easily pop this in over here and then you have your full cutting surface. So now the trimmer measures 12 by 12. And since this arm is detachable, it's really easy to store this trimmer. So you can just take this off, turn your trimmer around, and then you can actually store it over here and you can also store the cush grip handle over here so this makes it just easy to store in small craft rooms or you can also store it in a drawer like I will be doing so I'm going to quickly show you how you can store this detachable extension arm on the bottom of your um, paper cutter so over here you have these two little um, knots and you can just slide these over here and then it's stored so as you can see it doesn't fall out so you can easily put it in a closet a drawer or even on your um, desk if you would like to and then if you want to um, use it again then you just press these little knots and then pull it out and there you go and then you can just turn your machine around and put it back in. So this tool is definitely quite compact for a guillotine trimmer. It's also portable and it's pretty lightweight. It's not like the lightest trimmer out there, um, especially compared to a smaller trimmer like a Fisker shirt cut or anything. But for a guillotine trimmer, this really is very lightweight and it's also really durable even though it's kind of lightweight so I really like that. almost going to be showing you how to cut with this actual machine. First I wanted to show you that this um, paper cutter has half inch markings 
over here and then it also has a measuring bar um, at the top the middle and on the bottom of the trimmer in both inches and centimeters so you can cut paper up to 12 inch or 31 centimeter with this paper trimmer which makes it perfect for card makers and scrapbookers as well I decided to get the 12 inch paper cutter since this one allows me to cut portraits um, cards so not only like the standard landscape cards but um, also cards with the with the folds on the top alrighty so I'm going to show you how to cut a standard sized card with this machine so first you just lift up the arm and then you're going to slide your paper underneath the safety guard or the finger guard so you just um, slide it under very easily then you're going to line it up with the five and a half marking over here make sure it's completely straight by lining it up over here and then at first I just started to cut but that's not exactly right because you have to push down the safety guards um, in order to get a nice clean and crisp cut okay so I'm going to bring that over here okay so I'm going to press that down and now I'm going to move the arm down just like that okay I zoomed in a little bit so you can see how clean and crisp this cut is and when I first used it I was so excited because it's been a while since I got such a clean and crisp cut with a paper trimmer alright so now I'm going to be showing you how to cut a portrait card with this I'm going to show you that the, um, cutting a portrait card is also possible with this paper trimmer so I'm going to slide it under again and then I'm going to uh, line it up with the four and a quarter marking going to push down the safety guard and then move the arm all the way down and then you have a perfect portrait card alright so I also want to show you that you can cut the tiniest little strips with this cutter so again I'm moving my I'm sliding my paper under this guard and I'm going to cut a really really thin strip of paper so as you can see this is a really thin piece of cardstock and again there are no fuzzy edges it's perfectly straight, it's a clean cut, and it's just really awesome. And now I'm going to test out one more thing. So I have um, three sheets of Nina 110 pound cardstock over here. I'm going to try to cut um, some standard size cards out of this. I'm going to be cutting portrait cards. So I'm going to slide that under lining it up with the four and a quarter marking pressing down the safety guard and I'm going to move the arm down and there you go so you have a perfect cut and this makes it really easy because now I have six note cards and I only have to use this machine once so that's just really great if you're going to be um, cutting and scoring some cards for your stash. So just to quickly summarize everything about this trimmer, I just absolutely adore it. I love it. I would recommend it to any paper crafter out there since you can cut pieces um, up to 12 by 12 inch. It is a guillotine trimmer so you don't have to worry about replacing the blade after a while since it's also self-sharpening and of course it gives you clean and crisp 
cuts every single time which I just really love. You can also cut up to three sheets of 110 pound cardstock which makes it easy to cut and score cards. And you can cut even like the thinnest little strips which is just really great. So I do recommend this trimmer and I am very excited to be using it in the future. So big thanks again to Tonic Studios for um, sending me a trimmer and I hope you all enjoyed this video. So make sure to leave me a comment or send me an email if you have any questions at all and I will see you very soon with a new cart and video. Bye!